We explain the rise of the nation state of Japan. We discussed the Japanese feudal system earlier, so let's take a deeper look at the development of Japan as a nation. Japan, like Greece, had been heavily influenced by its mountainous and island geography. The population that developed there is believed to have migrated from mainland Asia in the prehistoric era and became known as the Jamon. They began to form recognizable civilizations about 800 BC BCE as a mix of Jamon and Yayoi. Because of Japan's volcanic mountains, people tended to settle in the farmable river valleys on the coast. Living in these areas was both a blessing and a curse. On one hand, it protected them from invasion and gave them plenty of food resource. On the other hand, it isolated them from land-based trade routes like the silk. But even in isolation, Japan had many connections to China and Korea. Prince Shotoku of the Yamoto clan sent nobles, monks, and leaders off to China for year-long study programs. Because of these experiences, Japan adapted Mandate of Heaven status on their emperor and centralized government bureaucracy in their state. They took on Chinese clothing styles, food, music, dances, and tea ceremonies on Chinese porcelain. They philosophized Confucianism, filial piety, and Buddhism. Early on, much of the knowledge of China was brought not by Chinese, but by Korean traders. Korea and Japan have been much closer allies and enemies in history than Japan and China have been. Koreans would settle in Japan, Japanese would settle in Korea, Japan and Korea went to war against each other, and they intermarried royalty. It was Korea that first sent Buddhist missionaries to Japan in 500, and Korea who introduced Chinese writing to Japan in the first place. Japan could learn about China from the Koreans and then count on their geography to keep China out. Japan's isolation is also based on the fact that it's volcanic and sits on the Ring of Fire. Its dangerous tsunamis and earthquakes have played a major role in Japan's history. During the decline of the Tang Dynasty, Japan began to mold an independent culture, an alphabet system called kana. They centered governments around the idea of clans instead of civil service exams. One of the biggest clans was the Yamoto, who had become Japan's only ruling dynasty, believing they spring from Amaterasu, the sun goddess. Clans worshipped kami, or divine beings. The worship of these beings was called Shinto, which led to the construction of pagoda shrines and temples. They became located around gorgeous natural locations like waterfalls. We also discussed in the art section about the Heian period, a time when the capital was centered near Kyoto at Heian. When it also saw a flourishing of arts and literature and writers like Mirosaku Shikubu, painting, and no theater. Women were held in high regard during the feudal period, gaining some new rights while holding on to old traditions. In 1274 and 1281, the Mongols tried to invade, but both times they were destroyed by typhoons. The Japanese would name these divine winds kamikaze. Inside of the Yamoto dynasty of the emperors were the shogunates, as we've discussed in the Japanese feudal system. The Kamakura shogunate collapsed after the Mongol attacks, a warring period developed, and then Toyotomi Hideyoshi came and created the Tokugawa, which created centralized feudal daimyo system states.